Well, this is one of our hottest items ever at our lowest price tag we have ever offered it to the general public. Mm -hmm. I've never seen these at that price before ever because this next one, it just... Hey guys, welcome back to Half the Battle. Uh, today we're going to take a little closer look on the Mantis Knives gearhead. This guy I got in the monthly box I recently purchased through BattleBox, and it was the knife of the month. That's the high-end uh, box, the $150 box. It's going to come with this guy here. Now, initially, when I showed you guys this knife, I didn't say much. I tried not to say too much about it. I know I probably said a little too much. I got a little too into it. But uh, we're going to go over it. We're going to look at it. We're going to see what it's all about. Now, it's got this... Uh, Interesting uh, opening system here, which right off the bat, as soon as I saw it, it screams gimmick. And that's pretty much what it is. Um, an interesting opening gimmick. And you can sort of see the functionality there. Um, today we got Marcus behind the camera. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely helping out here because I'm all over the place. Anyway, here it is though. Um, overall, you look at it, when you first see it, and you see it in the pictures, it looks like a cool knife, you know? I mean, my, my teenage self would have liked this knife, definitely. Uh, my adult self, not so much. It is a cheap knife for $200. I'm not calling it cheap because it's $200. I'm calling it cheap because it's made like crap. And uh, I don't say that often about a lot of, a lot of gear, but this guy here, um, you take a look at the lock bar. On a $200 knife, you're not gonna wanna see this cheap metal lock bar here. I mean, some of them have it. Some of them are they're done a little better than others. The lock up on this, the lockup appears to be, you know, 10, 15%, uh, which isn't bad. But on this thin lock bar, that's not a heavy use knife whatsoever. Then we're going to talk about the ergonomics. Um, there are none. That's the problem with it. There, there's, there is no ergonomics to speak of. It's got a little bit of a sweep here for your fingers. If you've got a big hand, it'll fit. But uh, it's all squared off. You see these edges? They're hard square. I mean, it looks like a box of a knife. And that's because of this gimmicky opening mechanism, which... Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's nice. The, the opening mechanism rattles around quite a bit there, so that's probably not going to last too much longer. Um, it came to me, and I don't know if you guys can see it in the video, but there's a nice little scratch on it. It came to me like that, out of the box. Uh, besides that, I mean, you got this pocket clip here, which looks like it came off of a $5 Chinese knife. Um, flea market special for sure. Um, I'm call I've been calling this guy to my wife, the gas station knife, because that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of one of those cheap knives you see in a gas station case, and you go, oh wow, look at that, look at the gears. It's got gears on it, man. That's That's gotta be cool, right? No, it's not cool. It's not cool at all. Uh, they're charging $200 for this knife. I see them going for eBay for 150 to 180 guys. Don't buy them, just, just stop. I mean, I'm gonna sell it after this video, so if you wanna buy it, it'll be up on eBay, but don't. I, I mean, <laughs> I'm not telling anybody to buy this. I, I wouldn't, I wish I didn't. Um, it's sharp. Uh, I mean, I would do a sharpness test, but I I'm going to sell it, so I don't really want to dull the blade on it. It's just not a good knife, guys. Um, it it's really impractical. I mean, it takes a lot of pressure to really get it to pop open. And then you can't close it the same way. You're not going to go backwards with it. you got to use this crappy eighth-inch thick, thick piece of steel lock bar they got in here. I don't, I don't get it, guys. I don't get how they're going to charge $200 for this knife. When I've gotten plenty of knives, you can get a Spyderco, a nice Spyderco for under $200. $200. You can get a nice Benchmade for under $200. So do yourselves a favor. Don't buy this. Go buy a quality knife because this one is not quality. Um, yeah, BattleBox, thank you, I guess. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, not much more to say about that. So if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, especially subscribe, that would really be helpful. We're trying to grow the channel. And the more we grow it, the more we're going to be able to give away. I won't be giving away this guy because I'm going to recoup my money from the box for this guy. But there's actually two knives and probably a few things from this uh, current box I got that I'm going to do as a giveaway very soon as soon as I get up some more subs. So go ahead and uh, if you could, you know, subscribe, that'd be great. Thanks, guys.